Hi, I'm Alexander Vinyavsky. In this episode, we talk about how to improve the security of solutions with Cyberimmune approach. It is clear that in order to trust the solution, you need to prove that it deserves this trust. Such checking processes are of course carried out, but they are often extremely expensive. It turns out that it is possible to make them much cheaper by applying the principle of minimizing the trusted code base. Let's see exactly how in this video. To prove that the system can be trusted, software assurance processes are used. For example, static and dynamic code analysis, fuzzing testing, formal verification, penetration testing. Many methods and tools have also been developed, from simple and well-known to very complex, rarely used and requiring special skills. While these methods are mature and well-instrumented, there is still an important problem. It is not clear how to competently and consciously divide the code into the part that needs to be checked in a cheap way and the part that needs to be checked in an expensive way. As a result, in order to prove trustworthiness of the system, we need to thoroughly check almost all of its code. Of course, it cannot be done in practice. This problem can be solved with the principle of minimizing the trusted code base. It means that you need to make sure that the security critical code is as small as possible. Then you need to apply the expensive analysis methods not to the entire code, but only to the small part of it. For everything else, basic methods will be enough. In practice, it means that large monolithic components that implement business functionality together with security functions must be decomposed into smaller ones, bringing security functions into separate small components. It is also good to reuse the component as often as possible to solve typical tasks, for example, encryption or working with data stored on the device. Thus, cost of software assurance can be significantly reduced. It reminds me the Pareto principles, when 20% of our efforts put in the right place give 80% of the result. So if you need to create a system with guarantees for security properties or just with a high level of trust, then it's a good idea to apply the trusted code base minimization principle. Learn more about Cyberimmune approach in our next episodes.